Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today we're going to be talking about this Cobalt 26 gallon 150 PSI Quiet Tech air compressor from Lowe's. This is Cobalt branding and it's under their Quiet Tech category so they have a few other products that are under this but what's really awesome about this compressor and the whole reason it's in this is because it says up to 80% quieter. Now I will go ahead and put a disclaimer when they say up to 80% they really do mean up to. I don't really know many compressors that run over you know 100 uh, decibels but I would say a typical air compressor runs about 90 and above. I would say between 90 and maybe, I don't know, 105. Um, but I would say like 90 is your typical range, 95. So this one runs at about 70-ish um, decibels. So you'd be surprised. It's actually a pretty big difference. Um, 90s to the point that you're actually supposed to be wearing earplugs about. Um, and obviously 70s are a really decent amount under them. I mean, that's, that's over 20 decibels less. So you, you do get a pretty big difference with this air compressor. So to go over some of the key features before I give some of my opinions on it, it has dual lines out, which is really awesome. You can have, you know, two hoses connected at once um, out of the bat. So I've not done any modifications to this or anything. You have your standard regulator knob. You have your regulated pressure, or regulated pressure, tank pressure. The compressor is oil free. It's 120 volt single phase. It does have dual pistons as far as I'm aware. And then um, it's a 26 gallon tank and it does have a drain. Um, cock at the bottom which that's actually what all this water's from and that's a shame on me I haven't drained it for probably a couple months so you know just a PSA make sure you drain your compressors after pretty much every use and also 4.5 SCFM at 90 PSI and of course it does fill up to 150 PSI that's the standard prank tank pressure and it is 1.8 running horsepower so pretty pretty decent compressors the horsepower is not anything too insane I'm really not even sure what the timing on it is for you know 0 to 150 PSI fill up we're getting ready to find that in just a second um, one thing I will go ahead and say is I've had about six or seven air compressors and this one is by far absolutely my favorite it's about 310 bucks from Lowe's so it is a little bit more than you're gonna pay for you know just a normal 26 gallon um, you know of like a, a Harbor Freight brand or maybe a, a, a somewhat lesser brand although Cobalt's not really a great brand anyways but it's definitely not a bad brand it's just Lowe's um, you know Lowe's OEM brand basically so let's go ahead and uh, do a 0 to 150 on the fill up So I'm not really too sure, I'm just doing a test here. Um, you guys might be able to hear me, you might not, but this is with the camera about three feet away from the air compressor. Um, and if this was a standard, you know, 90 above decibel, you would definitely not be able to hear me. <laughs> just want you guys to hear, we have one garage door closed over here. Kind of so you guys can hear the, uh, the difference of, you know, being inside or outside of the garage. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know if the camera does it much justice, but it's pretty quiet. Like it's one of those things where I can comfortably be working out here at night um, and the air tools are definitely louder than the air compressor is, which, which is pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and uh, get a little closer so you guys can still hear me. Like I said, I, I really don't even know based on that first clip I did where I was only a couple feet away from the compressor, if you guys can hear me. I mean, when you are standing, you know, a foot or two away from it, it definitely is loud, but um, you know, I have relatively sensitive hearing, I'd say. Like, you know, I, I definitely enjoy wearing my earplugs around tools, and this is a, a this is an item that I don't feel the need to wear earplugs even when I'm right next to it, which is really nice to have. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where if I can pay a little bit extra and have that feature, I'm more than glad to do it. All right, so it looks like we were a little under six minutes. You know, for 150 PSI and, you know, 26 gallons worth, and also it did fill up the hose too. You can see the regulator, you know, was turned on, so it did fill up 50 feet of hose, which by the way, highly recommend this. Uh, I can never remember what this stuff's called. It's like a really common hose. It's basically like a, like a rubber PVC hybrid. I think it's called like Flex something. Um, but it's expensive, but it is really good hose and it is extremely like flexible yet very strong. That's what we used to use at the shops and everything. So highly recommend that stuff. Don't mess with the freaking orange, you know, PVC Harbor Freight hose. I've used them. They just they just do not work like these do. So overall, though, I mean, like I said, this has been by far my favorite air compressor. It's just the ease of use, and you know, like I've not had to do any maintenance to it, and I've had it for like I said for about a year and a half. Pretty moderate usage. Um, you know, I don't use it every day by any means, but I would say that it definitely gets used at least a couple times a week. Um, you know, for a year and a half, and I haven't lost any performance 
performance or anything from what I can tell. Regulator and everything still works really good. Um, I've had this same hose attached to it basically since the day I got it. And these are also check valve too, which is nice. So I can disconnect this and it uh, won't let off all the air out or anything. So like I said, the fact that it has the dual lines, even though I've never used them, is a really cool feature to have, you know, especially if you were to run a line, you know, up and along the ceiling and, you know, let's say you wanted to have it come down over there, like if you had a, a bigger garage or bigger shop, that'd be a really nice thing to have, you know, for, for dual access points. Or if you ever do have two people working on a smaller um, project, it'd be good for that. You know, like I said, I wouldn't recommend, you know, running two die grinders or two uh, pneumatic cutters of any kind um you know there's most tools are not going to run on something like this uh, with two of them going at once but for single use like i said painting um nailing you know just any anything that i've used it for i mean i i use that um uh what is it pneumatic uh chisel over here which is also i think cobalt brand but this one's highly recommended surprising it was about 30 bucks i think but it's really good worked very well i actually used that out here to dig almost all of this trench up because i did not have the right equipment and this is about i think six inches deep and i only had like a four inch uh, cutoff wheel so i actually used that pneumatic um, chisel or hammer to be able to do almost all of this through the actual concrete so pretty impressive or sorry asphalt um, so you know worked really good for that and I've used it on a couple other like you know stuck nuts and bolts and whatnot but yeah um, I, I you know it's one of those things where like I said I, I vouch for this compressor highly recommend it um, I did at one point have the Campbell Hossfeld um, hot dog air compressor that was eight gallons and I think it might have been 125 psi it was either 125 or 150 just standard but that was a really good compressor as well it actually is quieter than this one this one's about 70 decibels the Campbell Hossfeld one was like I want to say under 60 I mean it was really quiet However, I think it alone took about five minutes to fill up, even though it was only eight gallons. And on top of that, I mean, it's it works for pneumatic tools, but it, you're going to be filling it up the whole entire time. Like the whole time you're using a tool, it's constantly going. With this one, you can use most uh, pneumatic tools, and you know you can use them for you know a minute or so before it even starts filling up. So, like I said, I mean, it's it's pretty impressive the the amount of CFM and everything it can deliver without needing to fill up, and it fills up quick enough to where you can use some tools and it'll actually finish filling up. You know during the middle of it being used and everything so uh yeah i mean that's really i can't think of much more to say about it besides you know it's been a really good compressor uh you know over a year now so you know maybe if i ever have any issues with it, i'll do an updated video or if i ever have to fix it but for now though it's just gonna probably keep being um you know used a couple times a week and just working really well if i had to guess so check the links in the description down below uh they'll be affiliate links um likely if you want to you know buy any air compressor air compressor parts i'll have a link to this one in the description down below as well and uh, maybe some comparable ones too so hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one